Uh, topic number one, uh, if you're interested in doing uh, topo surveys and starting to uh, investigate or use point clouds integrated with your survey data, I've got a couple of points here. All right, um, if you're doing uh, topo surveys and creating some CAD deliverables, um, your integration with survey data, the, pack, the stronger package to use there would be Trimble Business Center. Um, why we make that conclusion is that uh, the, the most recent additions of TBC have really embraced scaling point clouds uh, during the import, just how your uh, survey data is scaled. So this would allow your survey data to match up exactly with your scan data and vice versa. So the survey data is uh, treated as a um, within a, a local or a known projection that scan data would be treated the same way. Um, we're hoping to have a uh, pretty expansive white paper out by this time. Um, it's in the final draft stages, but uh, check, uh, check our space here uh, and, and online for um, a really expansive uh, white paper that uh, some of the team has put together regarding scale factors, survey data, point cloud data. Um, being able to convert scans to CAD points and turn those CAD points into you know, survey points or stakeout points in the field, uh, Trimble Business Center allows you to do that. And then being able to create topo surface, surfaces and contours, um, both RealWorks and TBC would be good for your money there. Um, in addition to two and a half D triangulated topographical surfaces, that's a mouthful, uh, TBC and RealWorks can create a projected or radial surface relative to a user-defined plane. So you can kind of go vertical uh, or uh, like Jason um, was gonna talk about and we showed earlier that tank inspection, you're right, you can unfold that, uh, that tank using a cylindrical plane. Ray, Jason, did I do this topic justice? Anything to add? I think you're doing a great job. Yeah, um, as a surveyor, what I also like about using TBC for topo type of surveys is that I can easily have um, multi-sensor data all in one place and also make sure they are sitting in a real world projection. Uh, like here in, the, in one of the screenshots, I will be able to see all my topo, uh, sorry, op uh, optical observations together with my point cloud as well as some geo-referenced panorama images. That's all. All right. If you'd like to learn more, you'll kind of sense a pattern here with this presentation. Uh, after each one of the uh, um, slides, we have a resources slides as well with hot links to uh, the, the various resources available that are appropriate to the, the topic. So here's the resources from RealWorks and TBC on the topic of topo surveys with survey data.